Yo, yo, this is a Skycast featuring Joystick. What it do? How's it going? How's everybody doing? You know what I'm saying? This is a Skycast featuring Joystick from New Orleans, Louisiana. You feel me? I'm talking to Duck, lead vocalist, Clay, bassist, and Andrew, trombonist of the band. You know what I'm saying? We're talking their latest LP. I can't take it anymore. Set for release April 16th on Bad Time Records and Stomp Records. You know what I'm saying? Big business. Crucial Scott Punk. I'm personally really excited for the release of this album. I was privileged enough to get an early copy from the band themselves, and after listening to it, I gotta admit, this is some of the highest grade Scott Punk that I've heard in a while, you know? So getting to talk to Joystick about the album process and everything they got coming, definitely a real treat. Let's go ahead and put our hands together for Duck, Clay, and Andrew. Joystick, you know what I'm saying? This is the Scott Cat. How's it going? Good. Good. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going, man? Good to see you again. Almost, almost like maybe like a month ago we were talking. On, on yeah, right. <laughs> that was a good episode. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. No, that was a good album. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's jamming. I'm stoked on, on, on this album as well. I was gonna say, uh, I know it was like the, uh, the, uh, the uh, track listing that Paul sent me on, on, on Instagram, and, uh, and when I was looking at the, uh, at, at the names of the Dropbox files, there's one that was titled "Keep It," and I was trying to find like what, what song that was on the track listing. Oh, yeah, that was my a- favorite. But that, that one was right there. Wait, keep it your favorite. Yeah, that's that's the title track. Um, it's called "I Can't Take It Anymore." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just called that. We didn't we didn't decide to make it the title track till later. So it, we just had the code name called "Keep It" to keep it together. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was the dopest one. I was like, hell yeah! But also, uh, yeah, that's, that's the finale. It's the last song on the record. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, well, I mean, hey, you know, uh, uh, thanks again for making time. I, I know uh, uh, Paul was telling me uh, one of you guys was, was going to, like, leave early. Yeah, I got called into work. It's really <laughs> irritating. Uh, <laughs> I, it's all good. I, I understand that. Like, to be that. honest, like, maximum stressed out right now, but I'm ready, dude. Let's do this. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure, man. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, you know, I just want to know if we could start off, uh, you know, getting kind of like a rundown of how you guys started. I know I was reading somewhere you guys have been around since uh, 08, right? Uh, Technically 09, but 08 is when we were like, when me, Duck, and Garrett, we met, I met Duck in December of 2008. Mm-hmm. So 2008, we had me on guitar, which I'm the bass player. <laughs> uh, our original drummer Garrett and then Duck. So it was us three, December 2008. Okay. I would say we were a real full band in April of 2009. Mm-hmm. So like five months later, mm-hmm. uh, we were an actual band with a horn section and a you know. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So let's call it 2009. Yeah, okay, not, okay. not yeah. ages too much, you know. <laughs> So, so when when it was just originally that 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 three piece were, were any of those songs that you guys were like writing early on what eventually ended up going on the on, on that on that 2010 album on yeah on this time it's personal we uh, put together um, we put together uh, uh, that's Mr Asshole to you Big Bang Theory and Why Me which is the first three songs we put together we did that in and uh, we we, we in, in the December the December get together we put together. Uh, uh, that's Mr. Asshole to you and mm. why me? I mean, uh, and um, shit, sorry. Uh, the other one I said, Big Bang Theory. Clay's the one with the good memory. Uh, so, and then we got our immediately got our guitarist who is still our guitarist today. Like after that practice, we got Mickey on board and yeah. then put together Why Me. But uh, we quickly found Trace and Kurt, our original horn section, put it together, and it was uh, the song Awesome is about the, the song that's called Awesome yeah. is about so. Yeah, hell yeah! I was gonna say, was uh, why why did you hop off of uh, off of a guitar on, on on the bass, or was that? Well, always- I was gonna be the bass player no matter what because I'm I just like bass. Uh, okay. But okay. and we kind of had the idea that Mickey would be our guitarist, but mm. we just wanted to feel it out with Duck first. So he was like this yo you know this older. Uh, experienced touring guy. I'm not from, old. Come on. Uh, <laughs> no, but he was like he was so he was a Scott old. punk man called Detonate. Um, okay. and I was already a fan of this band. Yeah. From Dallas. They're incredible. Take the time to look them up on, um, band camp. I know that their albums are available somewhere. Yeah. If you want to hear more ducks vocals, go listen to those albums. They're so good. Um, oh, hell yeah. there's actually a song about on this record about detonate, but, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, cause I was like, is that, is that in relation to the detonate track? <laughs> yes. Yes. It is directly related to yeah. that band. 
but um yeah he he all of a sudden we had this guy this older guy from like a really good band calling us asking us to be in a band with him and we were like freaking out so yeah. that's why i grabbed the guitar and uh it worked out up. it worked out yeah seven years later no you mean 12 years later <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, come on yeah, man yeah. <laughs> oh last album is okay oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I was going to say, uh, uh, like, another thing I read uh, about, like, uh, you know, when you guys were first starting out was, uh, I think it was on the uh, Stomp bio, it was saying that, like, uh, when you guys were forming, you guys were already, like, jumping onto tours, kind of like big tours. Yeah, yeah, well, we were, uh, our first tour was with a band called The Lollies, um, who are now Pairs, uh, okay. so, yeah, it was, uh, Zach Quinn, Brian Priedis, who are still in Pairs, Alex Talbot, who was the original bass player of Pairs, and then another guy. But we uh, came up with the idea that we wanted to make a split record, and we called it Lickety Split. So we like recorded this split together, and we went on our first tour together. Yeah, um, that okay. was in 2010. So I wouldn't say it was immediately, immediately we started touring, but like probably like a good... Uh, nine months after being a band we started touring right. um, yeah was that was that always like the thing was that always like all right we're gonna just oh like, yeah and, like go on the road and, like, he, it was the duck was an experience he, duck was the only one who was really experienced with touring uh all of us trace and kurt oh trace and kurt too that's that's true so them three were experienced with touring but as far as the guys in lollies and us mm -hmm. it was our first tour ever so we were just like we're doing this Oh, you know. uh, okay, okay. So, so then it was it always duck uh, uh, like booking all the tours. Were, were you always doing like sort of like the back end stuff with this band and then with that you band? Did oh. Book those tours. Yeah, we booked the yeah, early duck. joystick tours. We we're always duck. Yeah, yeah, duck. Duck knows how to book tours in old school ways too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, Brent, Brent started taking over. Yeah. and uh, Shows got way better. <laughs> yeah, Brent's our guy now. From We Are the Union. Oh, okay, we're we're. we're it up <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah because uh, i i was gonna ask about that split but now you uh you uh you pretty much kind of uh, broke it down at that yeah point. yeah it was like an idea of like we need something to tour with yeah make an album together and, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah oh. I, I, it, I wish it existed in like it, it's only exists on youtube i guess and the recording quality is still like the upload didn't come out all the way so if anybody I think it's on, on it's Spotify. A, no, our half is. Oh, I, I'm talking about like as a full record. Oh, like, okay. Our half is definitely on all streaming platforms, but Lollies isn't a band anymore. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of hard to find their half. But right. I like it as a whole. Mm -hmm. When you just listen to our half, it's not quite the full experience. You know, it's right. a very good uh, look into what the punk scene was in 2010 in New Orleans. Yeah. Uh, and I like it as a whole. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say so, like, like you know with that's where you guys are with them and then um uh, you know because there there was some time before you guys uh put out the the next album uh you're letting all oh, no. right because that, that was in 2014 right yeah yeah we were i mean so the, the, those first two years we busted our ass and then we kind of fucked around for a little while <laughs> i mean we you know and, and that album is a hot mess too so not only was it years <laughs> without an album we we like that that album had uh that was when the band started having a lot of member changes. Right. Um, uh, yeah, we, we started changing drummers. Uh, we had a horn section change. That was when Andrew Andrew joined the band right after that album was released. So you kind of came in the middle of that. That was like a transition period. Also, the uh, the hard drive crash of three of the tracks were lost forever. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah uh, Zach's computer just uh, completely... Uh, died and he somehow recovered most of the files like 70 percent of the files are um, you on that album andrew no i don't remember. think so no i think you guys put me in the uh the thank you for it but i i joined in 2014 yeah and then uh i, I played the album release show for that yeah actually uh when i joined it was me and justin for a long time because they were in school or something and even the album release show for that had ryan on trumpet instead of garrett that's so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a long period where it was me and Justin playing shows, and then eventually Josh came back, and you guys were like, "Well, two trombone players, it's all right." Trombone players, that's it. Yeah, uh, we've been, uh, we've pretty much had the same lineup ever since then, though. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, that was definitely our years where we were just kind of fucking around. Uh, 
I, I assume you mean like like uh, after you guys come back from tour and in between trying to like uh, you know just kind of do regular band stuff. I assume you mean you know there's this kind we of just kept on touring, but it was definitely like we were very content with what we were doing. And yeah, we, were we like, weren't really taking it. We weren't serious. taking it seriously at all. Uh, if you listen to you're letting all the fun out, like you'll be able to tell that we were not taking things too seriously. We were having a blast. Though. Yeah, it, no, it was a great great time. I I, I do like that album for personal reasons but it is a hot mess there's some good songs there are some good songs on it but my god (laughs) it is our it's our weakest one for sure (laughs) uh, was it was there a tour that you guys did for that one as well like uh, like related to it we've consistently toured every year uh not last year (laughs) yeah yeah not last 2019 was the first year we didn't tour at all and we were just taking a year off to like regroup and because we toured really hard in 2017 and 2018 mm-hmm. and we were, were having some van issues so we took that year to like save up and get that fixed and we're like all right 2020 and start touring again and yeah it was the wrong year to take off and yeah you know, the whole shutdown just yeah so now it's been two years it's kind of miserable but hey we recorded a new record and it's going out so yeah, we yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, those those uh those 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 first two those were like uh like like independent records like it was like self released by you guys and it was yes, yes absolutely oh okay so like how, how how did you guys start like talking with everybody at that stop because that's when uh I, I believe the next album after that was on stop right yes uh sincerely yeah yes yeah, so sincerely um so our our tour drummer we have two drummers we have like one that plays the local shows and does the studio stuff. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Dante, our other tour, our, he tours and, and plays drums. Yeah. So he um, he travels around. He he works for like with like less than Jake and who else? Like I mean, he's he worked with, he's like worked with bands. Yeah, yeah, he's worked with many big bands, but he is less than Jake's tour manager right now. Uh, so he is networked with uh, a lot of people, mm-hmm. and at the time we were this sincerely was just going to be another self release. Um, okay. And we had this album done. We were just sitting on it, trying to think of what to do with it. And we sent it to Dante, who wasn't technically in the band anymore. Uh, he was just, you know, he was doing his own thing, touring. And he was really impressed by it. And he was friends with the guys at Stomp. And he happened to be there at the time when we sent it. And he was like, guys, listen to the, my, this is my, this is my ska band. Listen yeah. to this album, you know, and, and they were loved it. And mm-hmm. so they wanted to put it out. Like that's how it was just like that, that lucky, you know, yeah. where Don, it was like right place at the right time. Dante was really impressed by it and they were really impressed by it. So that's how it happened. At this point on this album, uh, Andrew, you did record on it, right? Yeah. This, uh, I recorded on Sincerely and the newest album or my first two, but I know there's a song on, uh, on this upcoming LP where there was a, there, there was a, I'm trying to remember what the name was, but it was like a bunch of like uh, trombone solos. It was like an instrumental song. You guys yeah. Remember? Yeah. That was that, uh, was that you soloing on it or was it? Uh... <laughs> yeah, it was, it was both of us. Yeah. It, okay. it's, uh, it starts with Josh and ends with me on that track. Yeah, uh, that was a fun one. Duck had that idea to do an instrumental like ska jazz song on there, which turned out really cool. Uh, you wrote the little guitar part for there. I just wrote the, the chord change. You wrote that really cool guitar part. Yeah, I, I wrote the little like intro and outro thing, but Duck came up with the main chord progression, and then I think Duck and Garrett came up with the main melody for that in the studio. Mm-hmm. That was sort of everybody coming in and laying down their part to it after that. Yeah, yeah. They they also let me play a uh, sousaphone on two songs for this album, so I did <laughs> sousaphone on two songs in the last album also. <laughs> oh, it was more subtle in the last album. There was uh yeah, we did some screeches. And um, maybe it was just that one song. It's no, cool. uh, the intro for Alcohol Holiday, too. Oh, and Alcohol Holiday, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, you played twice on the last record. Yeah, uh, yeah we've all, no, like, uh, I've always been a fan of ska bands with two trombones, and Andrew and Josh played throughout both records. Like, all of our oh. horn section, section parts are like du- dual trombones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah MUC30 is definitely my favorite ska band. And yeah, there are two trombones, or sometimes two trombones and a tenor sax. It's awesome. I'm trying to remember the song. I know the, uh, I, I think on the title track it was called Damage Boost, but the Dropbox file was Damage. Yeah, Damage yeah. Boost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. That 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 bass line that starts off the song before it kind of like kicks in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. 
I, I definitely thought I was like, hey, that's kind of like a hardcore sounding like baseline because it was my first time like hearing the song, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah, and then uh, and then it got into like the more heavier parts later on the song. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I love that song, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wrote that song. I, I wrote the instrumental part to that song 